parallel plate capacitor. Now we will consider another important result when we have two uh, conductors conducting plates that are separated by a distance d. One carries a charge plus q, the other one carries a charge minus q. The length of the conductor is L and it has surface area A. And we know that for a, a conductor, the charge is at the surface, so there will be a charge density a Q divided by the surface area A for this uh, conducting plate. And I called the, the positively charged plate A the negatively charged plate B. And my coordinate system is such that when I go from B to A, X is increasing. All right. And this is connected to a battery which basically charged these uh, two conductors. Now the charge density sigma is once again the charge Q divided by the area A of this conductor. And if the plates are very close, that means that the distance between the plates is much less than the length of the plates, then we can assume the electric field is uniform between the plates and zero elsewhere. Of course, uh, when, we, when we approach the end of these plates, there will be field lines pointing like this, so it will cause non-uniformity, right? So we're considering a, a very close distance between the two plates and the region between the plates where we have a uniform electric field. Now, what is that electric field in between these plates? This is a problem we have solved before using Gauss law. And we found that for a charged uh, plate, the electric field in between will be the electric field due to the positively charged plate plus the electric field due to the negatively charged plate. So just concentrating on this plate, we have E plus, and just concentrating on this plate, we have E minus, and they add up. So we have E plus plus E minus is equal to the electric field. And what is that electric field? We found using Gauss law, remember, we have taken a Gaussian sphere, uh, that goes through one of these plates and we have uh, used Gauss law and what does that tell us? It basically tells us that the electric field outside is zero, electric field in between the plates is twice sigma charge density divided by two epsilon zero and the electric field is here in minus i hat direction. It points from the from plate A towards plate B. What is the potential difference? Potential of A with respect to B is potential of A minus potential of B is minus the integral, path integral B to A E dot ds and this is minus the integral b to a electric field is minus sigma over epsilon zero in i hat direction ds vector is dx in i hat direction and the minus signs will cancel and i will be left with sigma over epsilon zero integral of dx which is the distance between the plates d. So the charge density sigma was the total charge q divided by area a, q over a epsilon zero d. Now what is the capacitance then? The capacitance is going to be the charge stored q divided by the potential difference delta v. So it is q divided by delta v which is epsilon zero a area divided by d the distance between the plates so the parallel plate capacitance is epsilon zero a over d now what does this tell us the higher the area of the plate you can see capacitance is proportional to area the more is the capacity to store charge there is more space to store charge and if i decrease the distance between the plates 
what happens? The, the potential difference delta V is E times D. So when you decrease the distance between the plates for the same electric field, the potential difference delta V will decrease. So in order to keep the same potential difference, we need to increase sigma. So what will happen is this decrease in D will be balanced by increased in sigma because it's connected to the battery, delta V must be constant, more charge will be pumped from the battery to increase the electric field and set delta V is equal to V battery. And therefore, you can see that the charge stored will increase. So decreasing D or increasing the area or both will basically increase the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor. One nice application is the keyboard button. You can see here, when you press the keyboard button, which has a movable conducting plate, uh, which is separated from a fixed plate with an insulator, when we press this button, we decrease D and the capacitance increases. So basically, this changes in the stored charge uh, will be uh, sensed by the electrical circuitry, uh, which uh, results in typing on the screen. Okay, so in summary, we talked about one more capacitance calculation, the case of parallel plate capacitor. The uniform electric field between two parallel conducting plates is achieved when the distance between them is much less than the other dimensions of the plates. And uh, this uniform electric field can be calculated using Gauss law taking a cylindrical Gaussian surface on one of these plates, we find E plus is sigma over 2 epsilon 0, E minus is sigma over 2 epsilon 0, and they add up in between the plates. Outside, uh, sigma over 2 epsilon 0, sigma over 2 epsilon 0, they cancel and we obtain zero electric field. The potential difference between A and B is minus the integral going B from B to A, E dot DS, and this gives us the potential difference Q over A epsilon 0 D. Q divided by V is the capacitance, so it's epsilon 0 A over D. And this tells us that increasing the surface area results in the more capacity to store charge as well as decreasing the distance between the plates because it's connected to a battery with a constant potential results in an increase in the electric field, which is achieved by storing more charge, therefore capacitance increases. And one nice application is the keyboard button where we manipulate the distance between the plates by pressing on the key and affecting uh, results in affecting the capacitance and the charge stored on the plates.